Thank you for joining us. Uh, we brought you here because of your expertise, and we hope you could inform us on global work and travels volunteer trips. Yeah, absolutely. Um, our volunteer trips have always been one of my favourites to coordinate for our travellers because they're just so different um, to doing just a normal holiday overseas. So with volunteering, um, we kind of split it into two different types of volunteering you can do. So either humanitarian work um, or working with animals in more of a conservation sense. And a lot of our trips go from anywhere between two to 12 weeks in length. So they can be that kind of length of a normal tourist holiday so that you can use it for your annual leave at work which is really fun but you at least come back from that country knowing that you've made a really amazing difference in either the community or with some sort of animal conservation while you're over there as well so you do get to see a side of the country that you're going to that pretty much any tourist doesn't get to see so it's so much more special it's more meaningful travel um, and there's so many options um, with how you can make a difference around the world on all of the programs that we offer as well yeah, cool. yeah do you have a favorite i do uh, my favourite is one of our newer trips that we've released. It's in South Africa. It is our Big Five exclusive Kalahari program that we have. Um, it's phenomenal. Um, it does have really small volunteer numbers, so it only accepts eight volunteers at a time, all exclusive to Global, so everyone gets to meet each other, which is really nice. Um, but you're out on a reserve that is 250,000 hectares in size, so it's massive, um, about the size of Hong Kong, if <laughs> to give you a bit of <laughs> comparison. Um, but it's massive, you get to go on game drives all the time, you get to be really involved in anti-poaching while you're over there as well, get to learn a lot from the volunteer um, coordinators that take you around the reserve all the time. Um, you know, you can sit on your safari vehicle having a wine watching the sun go down at the end of the day as well so it's still super enjoyable and my personal favorite is that you get to stay in these beautiful glamping tents which are just redonkulously cool um, that you can stay in while you're there as well. The price of a volunteer trip um, will change depending on your duration that you're there because a lot of our volunteer trips are pretty much all inclusive like they do have quite a lot included with them so as soon as you arrive on our volunteer programs we will have someone waiting for you at the airport to take you out to the project because the projects of course aren't in the middle of a city centre or anything like that and easy to get a cab to. Um, they are, you know, maybe in the middle of the Costa Rican jungle or out near the beach somewhere, or of course, like my favourite trip in the middle of uh, South Africa, which is really cool. So we'll have someone take you out there. Um, so that'll be all organised for you. A lot of our volunteer trips also include meals as well. Some of them will be breakfast, lunch and dinner every day, um, which is amazing. So I know all of my money goes to food, so it's good to know that um, you don't have to spend that extra money while you're overseas as well. Also included is your volunteer placement on the program as well, along with all of the supplies that you could possibly need. So if you're going to go scuba diving in South Africa, you're not expected to bring any of your own equipment. It's all there for you for any trip that you do as well. So you don't have to bring anything but yourself with you, um, which is amazing. So while you're there, you only really need money to do things on your weekends because everything on the trip itself, that's where all the money's going as to what you'll actually be experiencing. Yeah, cool. yeah. awesome. I'm going to show you some of our travel footage, so global travellers over there cool. doing our volunteer trips have sent us some fantastic footage. So I'll show you that now and if you could kind of run through a day-to-day -day basis on what you'll be doing, that would be fantastic. So on our big five uh, volunteer trip in South Africa, which is where Alexandra is at the moment, um, she's doing lots of lion tracking and monitoring during the day, um, helping build wildlife structures, doing lots of fauna and flora work in the nurseries that they have there and lots of tree planting and things like that. And by the looks of their super cool safari vehicles, they're going around on game drives and things like that to actually go and monitor um, the animals in all the different areas of the reserve to make sure they're all in the right area, but kind of like the circle of life essentially to still do its thing um, and move animals if they need to. And a lot of game counts and fence patrols as well. This is quite a popular trip actually, um, with a lot of our travellers at the moment. We've sent quite a lot already this year alone, um, but a lot of feeding the animals. I can see here that they're preparing the food for the elephants, which is amazing. You're up close and personal with them quite a lot as well. Um, the particular project that they're at has over 80 elephants at it, which is crazy. Um, so there's always quite a lot there. You're guaranteed to see quite a lot of them, which is really, really cool. Um, so you'll get to cut food for the animals. It looks like they're cutting down some of the plantations as well. Make sure that they've got all the space that they need. Um, 
oh, maintaining their mud pits so that they can play in them, which is really fun. <laughs> One of the elephants just <laughs> went head first into a pool, which is the cutest thing um, for them to bathe and everything like that. So you'll get to maintain the mud pits. That's like a daily thing so that they have somewhere to bathe and somewhere to play. Um, and you observe the elephant's behaviour quite a lot as well because we do rescue a lot of elephants there that have been used for tourism purposes or tree logging purposes. So just getting them used to their new environment as well um, and being very hands-on with that too. Lots of dogs for dog lovers on this particular program. Um, and this is a really hands-on one as well. If you want to get up close and personal with animals, um, you're going to be really in it with the dogs. So it looks like they're going on feeding runs with them, which is super cute. So um, being really involved in the center, which is right on the beach, which is really cool here in a really nice location. Um, and then just nursing all the sick dogs back to health so that they can be released back to their packs in Thailand, which is probably the most important thing of this program. Um, and my personal favourite thing is if the dogs can't be released back to their packs, we actually adopt them to families in Canada. Um, so some of our travellers can be flight volunteers to take them back over there as well. Um, but yeah, this is a super, super cool program and very hands-on for anyone who loves dogs for sure. Since volunteers stay right on the beach for this trip as well, um, they do take the dogs out every day and take them for walks along the beach. And they are always so excited to go for walks as all dogs are, um, but getting them out and getting their exercise between when they are having their medical treatments and being rehabilitated, that's probably one of the coolest things as well is taking them on these walks, which is really fun. So as you can see, there's so many options when it comes to picking a volunteer trip with Global Work and Travel. Um, as we've just seen, people having some really cool, meaningful experiences overseas and still having a really awesome time traveling the world all at the same time. So if you wanna have a hands-on experience to actually make a really big difference and a really big impact on conservation projects or communities all over the world, um, these trips are exactly that that we offer here at Global. Since our volunteer trips as well go as little from two weeks to 12 weeks, you can pick a duration that works best for you for the time that you do have to travel. And you're gonna have stories to, of course, tell for a lifetime even after that experience, which is absolutely amazing. You can do back-to-back -back volunteer trips with us overseas as well. Stay as long as you want while you are on the program. But of course, if you have any questions or wanna inquire about any of our volunteer trips, please feel free to comment below or head to our website to chat with one of our products specialists if you do find a volunteer trip that you'd like to register for with us um, our trips usually do start booking out around six to twelve months in advance so now's an awesome time if you want to make a difference start the year of traveling now get in touch with us today